So moments, moments is uh, given as, so we denote moment as MN, MN is called moment, okay. So MN is equal to what? It is expectation of X power N. So expectation of X power N is called MN, okay. So what is our uh, uh, aim here in this particular topic is that, so we have to find out the nth moment, okay. How do you find out nth moment? Nth moment can be found by two functions. So we can use characteristic equation, characteristic function or moment generating function. Using these two functions, we can find out the nth moment of a random variable, okay. So first we will be discussing what is characteristic equation, okay. So the characteristic equation is nothing but we we define a function, okay. The function is defined like this, e power j omega x, okay. So the expected value of e power j omega x is nothing but the characteristic function, okay. So here we are considering a random variable x with a probability density function fx of x, okay. So then the expected value of e power j omega x. So e power j omega x is a function. The expected value of e power j omega x is called characteristic equation, okay? So the characteristic equation is denoted like this, okay? Phi x of omega is equal to expectation of e power j omega x, okay? It is expectation of e power j omega x. So we know the formula of expectation. So expectation of x is given as, Okay, expectation of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity, integral minus infinity to plus infinity, x, fx of x dx, okay, x, fx of x dx. So this is the um, expected uh, expectation of x, okay. So um, for example, if you want to find out expectation of e power j omega x, so now x will be replaced with e power j omega x. So the characteristic function will be given as integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power j omega x fx of x dx, okay? So in the case of discrete random variable, the characteristic function is denoted like this, phi, uh, phi x of omega is equal to summation i e power j omega xi p of xi, okay? So xi is nothing but the discrete value. So for discrete random variable, what is x? x will have the discrete values. x will be having x1, x2, so on like that. We will be having discrete values, okay? So that is why the characteristic function is denoted as summation i e power j omega xi p of xi, okay? So that is the characteristic equation for discrete random variable, okay? So what is this characteristic equation will do? See here, observe this equation, okay? So if you observe this equation, what is here? You see that it is the function of x. So if you take the probability density function, which is the function of x, okay? Now, if you find the characteristic equation, so the function which is function of x is transformed to a function which is function of omega. So what is that is happening here? X is transformed to omega, okay? So that is why the relation between characteristic function and probability density function is given as. So these two will form uh, Fourier transform pairs, okay? Now, for example, if you find out what is the Fourier transform of some function f of t, Fourier transform of function f of t is given as, okay. So we are writing Fourier transform of f of t, okay. So it is given as integral minus infinity to plus infinity, okay, uh, f of t, e power minus j omega t dt. Okay, e power j omega t dt. Okay, so this is the Fourier transform, which is function of t here. Okay, whereas here, what is that we are taking? We are taking a random variable x. Instead of t, we will be having x ma. So Fourier transform of f of x will be integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power minus j omega x dx. Okay, so if you compare this with the equation here, what is the difference here is, so in the place of uh, 
omega, we have minus omega. So in the characteristic function, we have plus omega, whereas in the Fourier transform, we have minus omega. So what is that, this equation? How do we call this equation? This equation is nothing but the Fourier transform of f of x with the sign of omega is reversed, okay? Omega sign should be reversed, okay? So in the formula of Fourier transform, we should have minus, but uh, what is that we have here? We have plus here, okay? So that is why this equation, this characteristic function, okay, forms the Fourier transform of fx, fx of x with the sign of omega is reversed, okay? So since you know the uh, Fourier transform formula, now we write inverse Fourier transform. So can you, what is inverse Fourier transform? Inverse Fourier transform is given as one by two pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity phi x of omega. So in the inverse Fourier transform, we will be having e power plus. But here, what is that? Since we are taking characteristic function, here we will be having minus. So you see here, so the inverse Fourier transform of phi x of omega gives the probability density function with the sign of x is reversed, okay? X sign should be reversed, okay? Similarly, you see here in the previous case, uh, if you observe this here, see that the characteristic equation, the characteristic function, is the Fourier transform of fx of x with the sign of x is reversed, the sign of omega is reversed. So in the characteristics equation, the sign of omega will be reversed, whereas here in the inverse Fourier transform, sign of x is reversed, okay? So from these two equations, we can say that, okay, phi x of omega and fx of omega forms the Fourier transform pairs with the sign of variables reversed, okay? So in the formula of phi x of omega, the omega sign should be reversed. In the formula of fx of x, the uh, sign of x should be reversed. So phi x of omega and fx of omega form Fourier transform pairs with the sign of variable reversed, okay? With the sign of variable reversed. So this is the characteristic equation. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to find out the nth moment, okay? So the nth moment using characteristic equation. So this theorem says how to find out the nth moment by using characteristic equation, okay? So see this, if phi x of omega is the characteristic function of a random variable, okay, x, then N, nth moment of x is given as mn is equal to minus j power n dn phi x of omega by d omega power n, where omega is equal to zero. So using this equation, we can find out what is the nth moment of uh, x using the characteristic function, okay? Now we see the proof of this, okay? So proof of this, here, phi x of omega is nothing but what? Expectation of e power j omega x, okay. So now we write e power j omega x as series expansion, okay. So e power j omega x can be written as one plus j omega x plus j omega x square by two factorial plus j omega x cube by three factorial plus so on like this, okay. Now we know that what is j square? j square is minus one, yes or no? So that is why e power j omega x can be written as one plus j omega x minus, j square is what minus omega square x square by two factorial, j cube is minus j minus j omega cube x cube by three factorial plus so on, okay? Now what is the characteristic function? Characteristic function is expected value of e power j omega x, yes or no? Now we substitute e power j omega x here. e power j omega x is what? It is one plus j omega x minus omega square x square by two factorial minus j omega cube x cube by three factorial plus so on. Okay, we will be substituting. What is the uh, series expansion we got for e power j omega x, okay? So now 
you know that expected uh, expectation of sum of variables expectation of sum of variables is equal to sum of expectations okay so that is why now we can apply this expectation to each and every term separately so now we get expectation of 1 plus j omega expectation of x plus minus omega square see here whichever terms are constant we will be writing outside the expectation because we know that expectation of ax what is the expectation of ax expectation of ax is equal to what it is a into expectation of x so it is equal to a into expectation of x so if if we have any constants that we can write outside the expectation only to the random variable we will be applying the expectation okay so that is why we know that expectation of a constant expectation of one will be one expectation of two will be one expectation oh, sorry expectation of two will be two expectation of three will be three like that expectation of a constant will be equal to the same constant okay so here we got first term is expectation of one no expectation of one is one only and in this j omega is constant so we are writing j omega outside now expectation will be applied to only x here then minus omega square by 2 expectation will be applied to x square minus what are the terms constant here minus j omega cube by 3 factorial is constant and expectation will be applied to x cube so on like this okay so this is the expression we got and we also know that what is a zeroth moment zeroth moment is nothing but one so one will be replaced with the zeroth moment one will be replaced with zeroth moment and the expectation of x expectation of x is nothing but the first moment expectation of x square is nothing but the second moment expectation of x cube is nothing but the third moment okay so that is why zero will be replaced with m zero expectation of x will be replaced with m1 expectation of x square will be replaced with m2 expectation of x cube will be replaced with mt m3 like that okay to find the moments subs now what we will be doing to find the moment so we our aim is to find out what is m0 what is m1 m2 so on yes or no so to find the moment first we will be substituting omega is equal to zero if you substitute omega is equal to zero all these terms will become zero so we'll be having only the first term so if omega is equal to zero in this equation in this particular equation one okay what happens here phi x of zero will be equal to m zero so we know that what is m zero value m zero value will be one okay so now what we do we differentiate this equation one with omega and uh, we substitute omega is equal to zero ma we differentiate this equation one with respect to omega then we substitute omega is equal to zero so if you differentiate this equation with respect to omega we don't have this term m naught will be m naught is a constant differentiation of constant will be zero so we will be having the terms from second term onwards so what is the differentiation of uh, phi of omega with omega in this case is j m1 minus uh, minus omega m2 minus j okay uh, omega m uh, omega square m3 like that we get the terms here okay so by differentiation phi of phi x of omega with d omega what is that we get here we get j m1 minus omega m2 minus j 3 omega square 3 q, 3 factorial m3 so on like this now we substitute omega is equal to 0 we get j uh, j m1 is equal to d phi x of omega by d omega where omega is equal to 0 okay now from this equation what is m1 ma? what is m1 from this equation from this equation m1 will be minus j d phi x of omega by d omega by substituting omega is equal to zero okay so here uh, the second uh, now this is like this we will be finding m1 
Now to find out m2, what we do here, we differentiate this equation, take this as equation two, then we differentiate equation two once again with respect to omega. So if you differentiate this equation with respect to omega, since this is constant, this becomes zero. Okay, we will be having the terms from here onwards. Okay, so what are the terms we'll be having? We'll be having minus m2. Okay, see here minus m2 minus j omega m3. Okay, so we know that what is minus? How do you write minus? Now, how do you get m2? By substituting omega is equal to zero, we will be having only m2. So all other terms will get can become zero. Okay, so what is minus one? Minus one can be written as j square. J square is minus one. So from this equation, what is m2? M2 will be minus d square phi x of omega by d omega square. Okay, so from this, uh, what is m2? M2 can be uh, like this. We will be, uh, this is the equation for m2. This is the equation here we have discussed, no, this is the equation for m1. Okay, from this equation, we can write what is the equation for mn? What is the equation for mn? M1, mn is equal to minus j power n d power n phi x of omega by d omega power n where omega is equal to zero. Okay, so like that we will be writing what is the equation for mn? What is the equation for mn? Minus j power n d power n phi x of omega by d omega power n where omega is equal to zero. So using this equation, the nth moment of a random variable x can be obtained from nth differentiation of characteristic equation at omega is equal to zero. So how do you find out nth moment? So first we have to find out nth derivative of characteristic equation at omega is equal to zero and multiply with minus j power n. So like this, we can find out what is the nth moment of a random variable x, okay? So using this equation, we can find out what is the nth moment of a random variable x.